Hey there, it's Bobby, aka Paginator, and I am here with another Owls Readathon update. Um, I'm filming this on my iPad just because I am, so I apologize if there's lots of camera shake. Um, I'm going to start with this book, um, A Night Midnight at the Electric. This I was had started in my last update and I finished it and it turned out to be a lot better than I was expecting. I ended up giving it four stars. It was um, a tale of three women whose lives are somehow intertwined and one is in the year 2065 and they are about to embark on a trip to Mars to be a colonist. Another woman is living in Kansas during the Dust Bowl era in the 30s and then another one is living in England just after World War I. And there is a turtle who enters the lives of all three of these women. So there you go. Then I read What to Say Next by Julie Buxbaum. This was so cute and I usually don't five star um, contemporary romances, but I did this one. This has um, two narrators, David, who is a high school um, student with autism, probably Asperger's and he struggles with knowing about social situations so he keeps track of things in a notebook to help him know who to trust what to do and things like that and then we also have kit who's kind of one of the popular girls her father was killed in a tragic car accident and so she's trying to deal with life and one day she just sits at david's lunch table and they start to form a friendship and then eventually more than that then i started to read seraphina by rachel hartman for my transfiguration um prompt and I could not like I don't know it seems like such a great idea because there's dragons and shape-shifting and all kinds of things so it seems like a book that I'd be really into but I just could not get into it I might try it again later but for now I'm gonna have to DNF it so um, since the prompt for that one was a book with shape-shifting I decided to reread one of the Twilight books I listened to Eclipse on audio and um, Still mad at Bella. Still think she made the wrong choice, but that's a discussion for another day. And then um, my last one to tell you about is this one, What Waits in the Water by Karen Scott. I am super close to finishing this. I'll finish it today, so I might as well include it in this video. Um, this one is um, for the prompt where you have to read a book mostly at night. And I, uh, I don't know, K Karen Scott's books, for whatever reason, just give me the creeps. And so, so maybe I chose the wrong book for this prompt. This one is about teenagers who are staying at a cabin on the lake over the weekend. And of course, no parents are there because, you know, that. So it's kind of your typical teenage, like, scary on the lake movie. Or not movie, book. And um, a girl drowns and she's um, pulled under by something and they suspect that maybe there's a monster lurking in the lake or maybe ghosts or something because supposedly a lot of people have drowned in this lake. So again, that's What Waits in the Water by Karen Scott. And that is my Owls update for you today. As some of you probably know, I'm doing Owls the wrong way. I did not pick a career and do the prompts that go with that career. I, my OCD won't let me do that because my OCD brain knows there's 12 different prompts. So I'm reading 12 different books and slowly but surely I'm working my way through. So that'll be all for today's update. Have a wonderful and bookish day. Happy reading. Adios.